The polls have now closed in Turkey's second round election runoff and history will be made as the outcome of the vote becomes clear. Both president and challenger have used the last two weeks to make their final pitch to weary voters. A long and drawn out campaign going into extra time after both candidates failed to win 50% of the vote required to claim outright victory. President Erdogan came into the second round confident, with an almost five-point lead over rival Kemal Kılıç Doloru. The president has also won the backing of ultra-nationalist third-party candidate Sinan Owen, which could give Erdogan a winning lead. Kılıç Doloru has also lurched to the right in a last-ditch effort to narrow the gap here. He's campaigned as a change candidate, seeking to lure back foreign investors and reset the country's relationships with NATO and the West. He also wants to roll back Erdogan's unorthodox economic policies, which haven't stopped double-digit inflation, double-digit unemployment and a 60% plunge in the currency in the last two years, made worse by Turkey's deadly twin earthquakes in February. But he's also come under fire for receiving the endorsement of anti-immigrant party leader Umut Özdag, who takes a far more hardline stance on refugees and Turkey's Kurdish minorities. Turkey's sovereign dollar bonds and equities plunged after the first round vote and the lira is still tracking at a record low. The outcome of the election will of course have major implications for Turkey's risk assets and an even bigger impact for the 85 million people here who call Turkey home. In Istanbul, Dan Murphy, CNBC.